Hello. <laughs> My name is Chris Summit. First, I just want to say I support the intellectual warriors and everything they said. I am a graduate of a TUSB High School, which is currently being eliminated. Gone. And currently, I am a, a PhD student at the U of A. I'm also a photographer, and I've been documenting the fight for these classes for almost three years now. I did not have a chance to take any of these courses in high school, but the impact they have had on my life from the outside has been tremendous. Simply being around the students who did take them or are taking them now has taught me so much. I photographed amazing feats of courage and wisdom formed by alumni of the program. Their positive impact on the world is happening now and will continue into their adult lives. Why would we want to eliminate a program which has this effect? But the mouse program is solid, but you don't have to take my word for it. I'm a scientist, and I know the importance of hard evidence in Moss has it, 10 years of it. Most recently with the Cabrera Report. When the district will pay thousands of dollars to an outside source in order to debunk it, and they come back and recommend it to be expanded, you know you have an amazing program. It changes lives. It's changed mine, and I never even took a class. You cannot deny its success. Bring it back, reinstate the old program, do not try to build a fake new one. Here's some important topics that I need to be addressed. No book ban. Unban the books that got banned. This kind of censorship is ridiculous and archaic. Make the classes core classes. <laughs> they are advanced level classes and should be treated as such. Expand the program to include African American, Native American, Asian American, Middle Mid Eastern American classes. Also, include a women's studies component. Everyone deserves history and their access to old history and culture. Stop segregating ELL students. This does not work. Incorporate a system of monitoring that involves the community and students, which ensures that TUSD maintains compliance with the unitary status plan. If this is left up only to the TUSD board, it is the same as not having a system at all. I am half white and half Mexican. While in the TUSD program, I sure didn't have any trouble learning about my white history, but I did have a hell of a time getting the other side. I wish I had the opportunity to take the classes, but they weren't offered at my school. Let's not deny the students this opportunity. Expand the classes, offer them at all schools in the district, just like they all have math and English, but they're just as important. You have a chance to make history. Do the right thing. Make good history. That's all. Warriors. I also support Mexican American Studies and its teachers who I've seen truly save lives and whose alumni have helped me feel whole and proud of who I am. I also support bilingual education and I hope to have my niece and nephew experience it. I reject separation of ELL students. I have been present in the fight to learn our histories and culture for too long. And I'm, I'm not even close to how long many people in this room have been in the fight. I was thinking last night when I attended the forum at El Pueblo, wow, there's directions to the forum? They actually want us to know where we're going. I'm not getting wanded, harassed, told I cannot bring in water. Folks on the panel seem engaged, and they are not watching their clocks or texting. All this surprising because the opposite is what I and most of the community is used to. Blank, emotionless stares, eye rolls, testing, and patronizing taunts from board members, that's what we know. There is something seriously wrong when a school board meeting has riot cops with guns. There is something wrong when our elder is escorted out by force by these same cops for reading a speech by Martin Luther King. There is something wrong when a man is allowed into these same meetings after trying to bring in a knife and then allowed to continue speaking after calling for bloodshed. And our kids are threatened with comments like shoot them in the head on a YouTube video. All this ignored, reported, and rushed off. No escort out of the meeting. There is something wrong when a grown man on our board, Michael Hicks, comes outside to taunt youth and community 
or left outside because of inadequate meeting space and rants about TUSD being his district, not ours. There is something wrong when community prepares for abuse from police and pepper spray when they want their voices heard. There is something wrong when we have memories of officers dragging youth across the street, fleeing them, pulling their hair. This is all at TUSD, a school district. This is our families and this is real and documented. What year is this? I could go on and on. It is obvious that there is something wrong with TUSD. And I hope, Dr. Holly, you are here to hear these truths and support our community. Because this kind of trauma, yes, trauma, we have used this word often as a community. And we are talking about education. This is sad. This is not only, and this is not okay, and this needs to stop. Thank you for your respectful attention, which is lacking here with TUSD. Woo! <laughs>